Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my finished Town Core Plaza on Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now if you're new here, I have documented the whole entire build process of the plaza. I will have all the videos linked in the video's description. Now the reason why I decided to do a mini tour is because I know that for me personally, seeing things up close in slower motion obviously helps me feel like I can decorate areas a little bit more accurately, especially if you're recreating things. So when we continue this plaza, a series because if you're new here I am planning to do actually three different plaza themes and I'm trying to decide between either something spooky or elegant or even tropical related so let me know what you would hope to see first in the comment section but I'm planning to do several different plaza mini series just like we're seeing today because I know everyone has their own style or maybe you're not into the townsy vibe or don't want to grind for the painful fencing that you're seeing all over my plaza because I swear this took me forever to grind for but regardless I hope that if you are doing a townsy theme that this inspires you. This layout is very functional. I made sure you could access every important area in the plaza. So if you are somebody who needs to reach mining deposits and you're early in the game, this is a completely functional plaza. Your resources that are natural will spawn in the grass still. So you don't have to worry about having that issue either. Now keep in mind, there is one mining deposit that I did block off on the left side of my plaza. You can totally adjust this build as needed once we reach it. But because all the other ones were able Able to be accessed and I have every biome unlocked it wasn't the end of the world for me to block this off but anyways over here is actually completely different from my last speed build so like I said on the speed build I really wanted to rework this area I just wasn't very happy with it and I still never got the items I was hoping for from Scrooge's but I still did a complete facelift on the uh, left side of my plaza and I'm so excited about it I cannot wait for y'all to see this location just because I feel like it really complements the restaurant I also really love this plaza because it's very illuminated during the nighttime. So you'll see a lot of illumination if you're recreating everything. But over here, this was originally where Remy's Cafe was. And I love how this spot turned out so much. It also gave me a little spot for Kristoff's uh, little stand. And this has actually been a build that many people have done all over social media already. But I wanted to do my own version of it. So I moved my clock over here and kind of just did a little park area right behind Remy's restaurant. I just thought it was a really nice spot for it. Over here by Mickey's house, this is actually a placeholder for the future Monsters Inc. house. If you already have that, please rotate that house to the Monster Inc. building, just because I feel like it would look way better in here and plus complement all the brick tones that we're using. Of course, if you like Mickey's house or you don't plan on getting the Monster Inc. building, you definitely don't have to. That's just what I was thinking would look better in this location. Then over here by this mining deposit, I kind of did a little bit more of a natural transition up to the Sunlit Plateau. So again, everything spawns in my grassy areas, all my natural resources. Everything's just really easy to gather any type of resource on, to be honest. And that was my main goal with this whole entire plaza and also my future plaza builds too. I want to make sure that y'all can access every location. And like I said, I know that decorating this game is hard. It's really hard to also just feel inspired. Maybe layouts are something you struggle with. I really feel like this plaza is so easy easy to navigate in and I just really hope it does inspire somebody out there. Anyways, I kept in front of Remy's pretty simple. I liked the apple trees in front of it to bring out some of the red tones in the canopies and then in front of Remy's I did a mixture of this little Beauty and the Beast table that was gold. I just think it looks so much more elegant than the cloth table and then of course I used some of the recipes that we get in the game to display on the tables. Where Mickey is, that's actually a little seafood buffet that I made over here. I thought it was a really cute filler detail so of course this is completely optional if you don't have that item but anyways before this video ends I am gonna get a few aerial shots just because I know that seeing these angles can help some people out with like layouts as we look at different angles of my plaza I do want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel members thank you so much for supporting me as a creator just your support in general means the absolute world to me so a huge thank you to Chrissy Nicole the eco 27 Luna Girl, Sarah B, Paige Beatrice, Coma, Ray, Icy Gaming, Jasmine Dean, Jazz, Let's Play K, Baby Blue X016, Luann Marie, Alicia Ramirez, Hannah, Brooke, Rem Crossing, The Breakdown, Els, K Thompson, Towels Kingdom, Jet, Monica B, Catherine Funk, Sherry Blossom, Calvi, Connor Adventure, The Bella 
Terrific. It's your girl Crystal, Mickey, Cherry Dot Crossing, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dammy, Cosmon, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.